this is a rendered engineering model of our plant. So this is the full detailed engineering model. Okay, we don't use paper drawings anymore for, at this stage, but we can extract them from this. Uh, I'm going to step through through key parts of that plant. Firstly, the sulfuric acid plant. So we bring in either liquid or solid sulfur. Uh, if it's a solid, we melt it and we bring that as a liquid into a storage tank. We then uh, convert that sulfur into sulfuric acid through this process plant. And there's a few elements to that, but basically we mix the sulfur with oxygen. The oxygen comes via the, uh, it's going to show up here in a minute, this main blower unit. So that's just big fans uh, pumping huge amounts of air through this system. We combine that with the sulfur. That creates a chemical reaction that's exothermic. It gives off huge amounts of heat. Uh, we have water there, which then we use that heat to boil and create steam. All of that steam then goes into our process plant uh, for use in the uh, in, in the, uh, uh, the crystal evaporating crystallization. Uh, but we also put some of that steam through a steam turbine, which then allows us to create electricity. The the steam is passing through, and and the sulfuric acid is passing through the rest of this uh, part of the plant. And what we're really doing, in particularly here, is we're taking the heat away from the sulfuric acid. We want the heat separated from the acid. The acid doesn't need to be super hot, just needs to go into our vat leach tanks. And we want to recover as much of that, what's called waste heat as, as we can. And th this, by the way, this plant means that not only do we have all our sulfuric acid, we, we don't need to be connected to a grid and we're not, we don't have any gas pipeline. So we are completely off grid, off gas, no external energy other than for backup generation of, uh, you know, for safety, et cetera. Um, so now moving into the process plant part of the plant, we uh, we we mine, we crush the uh, material. So ROM, uh, as it's labelled, is run of mine material that's straight from the mine. We go through a, a three stage crushing uh, process to take the material down to about twenty millimetres or three quarters of an inch. We load that into these series of vats. Water and acid get mixed, and they flow through those vats, coming in one end and out the other over a period of about seven days from when we load it to when we unload it. We then end up with lithium and boron in solution as a pregnant leach solution, along with a number of impurities. And then our challenge is to separate the lithium, the boron and the impurities from one another so we can end up with high purity end products. Um, these are some of the control rooms and electrical rooms. But uh, moving into the key part of the, of the, of the uh, processing plant, we have a series of evaporators, crystallizers, and other chemical vessels. What we're doing here is we are using either the concentration of the material, uh, the chemistry of it, or the temperature of it of the solutions to actually remove impurities and, and produce the boric acid and the lithium carbonate. So we're using all three of those in combination to actually separate these in stages, in controlled stages. Uh, the the, the crystallizers are where we would cool solutions down and crystals drop out uh, at the beginning of, of boric acid. The evaporators that we use, well, once we've taken as much of the material out as we can by changing temperatures, we then we then use the evaporators to drive off water and reconcentrate everything so we can do that process again. And as we drive off that water, we capture it as steam uh, and we condense it and we reuse the water. So about 50% of our water gets treated like that. Um, as, it pa as the solutions pass through this you know, fairly complex plant, we're, we're always looking at taking out boron, taking out waste material or other sulfate salts, uh, and washing them, filtering them, recovering water, recovering our lithium and boron, so our, we're minimising our losses, and we are moving these uh, sulphate salts or residue materials out of the process, and then we wash and filter those as well. Uh, and ultimately, we end up in a lithium carbonate circuit, which, as you can see, is much, much smaller than what we had at the outset because the volumes now are much, much smaller. All the boron's gone, all the sulphate salts impurities are gone and we're just purifying that lithium carbonate and we drop it out finally as 99% pure lithium carbonate and that gets loaded onto trucks and out from the site it goes.